Heart failure affects about 6 million Americans in the United States and is the most common reason for an inpatient hospital admission in the Medicare population. It accounts as the primary diagnosis for about a million hospitalizations a year and as a secondary diagnosis for about another 2 million hospitalizations a year. And Previous to this device, we really had to rely on symptoms, namely shortness of breath, edema, fatigue, as an indicator to kind of adjust medical therapy. And often by the time symptoms developed, the patient needed oxygen and they had symptoms that had progressed so far that the patient required treatment in the hospital setting. This CardioMEMS device, which is about the size of a paper clip, is implanted in the pulmonary artery, which is the main blood vessel that goes from the right lower chamber of the heart to the lungs and it serves as a surrogate for the patient's volume status. What we know is about two weeks before a patient develops symptoms of shortness of breath and edema, those pulmonary pressures go up. So the idea is that by having this device in place, allowing the patient to do daily transmissions of these pulmonary pressures, we can intervene a week or two weeks before the patient develops symptoms um, and hopefully can um, keep the patient home by adjusting their direct therapy at home such they don't get to the point where they require an inpatient hospitalization. The device is deployed through a catheter that goes through the patient's uh, femoral vein in their leg. Uh, so that catheter goes through the vein to the right upper chamber of the heart, then to the right lower, then out into the pulmonary artery. So the device is deployed through that catheter and it attaches to the wall of the pulmonary artery um, and it stays there really forever. We're the only center in Virginia or, or North Carolina to offer this device and it really has um, transformed the way we, we care for heart failure patients. We, we've really not had a lot of new therapies for heart failure really in the last 10 years and a big push in medicine in heart failure is keeping people home and out of the hospital. Heart failure is a big driver of hospital calls, of, of morbidities, and an inpatient hospitalization really becomes a bad prognostic marker for a patient. So this device it was shown to do in the, in the clinical trial will allow us to treat our patients better and keep them home. <music>